Thank you so much for sticking to Y254 TV. Welcome back to the Power Talk Show. My name is Cheryl Blessing, and this evening we're having a conversation on friendships mm -hmm. and relationships. How can friendships affect your relationships? Can they add value or can they break your relationships? And joining me live on set is Beryl and Pastor Edwin Tiego. Karibuni sana. Uh, Santi. So before we went on our break, we were just having a conversation. And mm -hmm. to mekuza kwelewa, you have to really assess your friendship mm -hmm. and you have to have wisdom. Mm -hmm through your friendships and even in, the, in your relationships. Sure. So now we were, we were asking, what if your partner tells you they don't like your friend? Mm -hmm. So I want us to, to give it the perspective of the toxicity. Because mm -hmm. when you're toxic and they want to isolate you mm -hmm. because they feel like your friends might see them for who they, you, they are mm -hmm. and you're blinded by love and infatuation and all these things, you can't see mm -hmm. the negative. Mm -hmm. So in that perspective, mm -hmm. how can you address something like that? Or how can you find out from your friends why they don't like him mm -hmm. or why your partner... How can you, through wisdom, how can you approach that situation? Yeah, uh, it's very, very, I like the perspective you've also brought. Uh, because as you were just leaving, uh, we are breaking for the, the, when you are going for the break, I'd mention you need to find out the reason as to why your partner is saying that I don't like your friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And from that reason, you can get to know on whether he wants to isolate you, as you are saying, or indeed, there is something very, very tangible which he has seen or which he has seen which you need to look at seriously and critically. Because we are trained to be analytical. Mm -hmm. We are trained to <coughs> reason out, question everything that goes on in our lives. Mm -hmm. And in reasoning, that is when you'll be able to perceive uh, and find the reason as to why my partner is telling me he doesn't like my friends. It is because of A, B, C, D. And uh, this one we can be able to agree and negotiate. Because when you do not see the reason as in, then you'll have to change his perspective. But if at all whatever he's pointing out to be a reason, mm -hmm. it is something which is tangible, then it is something to be to be considered. Mm. So it is in both ways. Yeah. You have to analyze on what is the level of your relationship with your partners. Yeah. And it is after how long. Mm. Someone may just come and within a short time, they are telling you, I do not want to see your friends. Mm. Yeah? yeah. For We have had those situations even yeah. in, in the church yeah. that a lady was very, very much committed to church. But all of a sudden, you come to realize that She's no longer coming to church. And you're wondering, why doesn't she come to church? Oh, she got married. And then the next thing you come to discover, the worst of the worst happened. You understand? Yeah. So it is, in, it, it is very, very much important you mm -hmm. get to weigh yeah. on the perspective of your partner and the point of view which has been given about your friends. Mm -hmm. And then you get to make a conclusion. Mm. Yeah. So you really have to assess. You have to assess. And I life. believe that also applies mm. for friends who tell you, I don't like your partner. Oh, yeah. yes. It applies both ways. Mm -hmm. But now, is it wise for you to tell your partner, mm. my friend doesn't like you, or tell your friends, my partner doesn't like you? Is it wise for you to say that? Because as you've said, it can just be a case of miss conception. Maybe mm -hmm. they saw them in a situation. Maybe your yeah. friend was drunk we and acting out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> someone for the first time. For the first time and they and got the wrong impression yeah. mm -hmm. without really understanding this person. Mm. So is it wise to share that with the other party to try and get them to get along? Mm -hmm. What would you say to that, Beryl? Um, as Pasi has said, get to know um, about the matter in details. Don't just rush that, Cheryl, my guy doesn't like you. My guy doesn't like you. Why? He saw you drunk. I'm like, how long does Cheryl get? Okay, if Cheryl is drunk, then on what, uh, what actions does she take? On mm. what level? What's her behaviors? How does that affect our relationship? If, my, if Cheryl tells me, no, your guy seems like a toxic guy, on what level? Did mm. he say something? 
Is this something that can lead to something? Mm. So you do not just come and and mm -hmm. say everything bluntly because you may destroy a relationship that maybe will stand out in the future and come to your rescue. I may destroy the bond that may be uh, the friendship that could have been between my partner and my friend. Mm -hmm. Because they say that when you want to know someone, at least talk or speak, sorry, or speak to their friends. Mm -hmm. So maybe they want to know me, and I've already told Sherry, Sherry, my guy doesn't like you. Anytime Sherry will be seeing my partner, she'll be like, no. Mm. It's, it's just a no. And maybe if I tell uh, my guy that, you know, Sherry doesn't like you, anytime they don't even want to me seeing me associated. So before you speak something or you communicate a message to the other party, kindly get to know. And I'm telling Cheryl, my guy doesn't like you because of one, two, three. I don't want you to destroy this relationship that you guys may form. So Cheryl, what can we do about it? Mm -hmm. Can we find a way to change it? Can we find a way to improve on the action? Yeah. You do not just say everything out bluntly. bluntly. So it's wisdom. Yeah. It takes a lot of wisdom. Because mm -hmm. clearly in relationships and friendships, mm -hmm. these are sensitive. Because these are human relationships. Nice. You're dealing with someone with feelings, their own personalities. And as you've said, that's very important. Mm -hmm. Because it could be your best friend, and this could be your future husband. Yeah. And you're going to be together for 50 years, all of you. So you cannot affect the relationship because of maybe one misunderstanding mm -hmm. or, or a situation like that. So it takes wisdom for you to know how to approach the matter. Mm -hmm. True. Now, let me get into boundaries. How do we set the boundaries? Because you, you can be expectant and you're married and they want to throw you a baby shower. And they're like, send, send us your guy's number so that we talk to him and do all this and that. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's not because of the best of interest, interest or something. How do you create the boundaries such that even when your friends and your partner meets, or even you meeting your friends' partners, mm -hmm. you know that there is a certain boundary we can't cross. There are certain conversations we can't have. How do we set that, Pastor? Uh, you ba boundaries are very, very much important mm -hmm. in general and in any nature of relationship. Mm -hmm. Let me t not even about just friends. Even when it comes to family, you need to set boundaries right because this is a, a relationship. So uh, when it comes to boundaries, it is how you get to agree with your partner that this is the far that you can allow friends to get. And Cheryl, people are not attracted to how you look. You may look so good, you may be dressing so nicely. Mm. People are attracted to the value Mm. They draw from you. Mm -hmm. Let us not lie to one another. That's People true. are attracted to the value mm -hmm. that they draw from, from you. you. Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. So boundaries are set depending on the value that those friends are bringing in that said relationship. relationship. Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. yeah. For instance, we are in a relationship and every moment whenever we are at a place where we are feeling no. Even this relationship is headed towards a breakup. But there is a friend who comes in strongly mm. and makes the both of us to see the sense. You had asked something of what even it takes for someone to pick up someone as a maid of honor yeah. or a bride of honor. It, it takes what value is this person bringing in the relationship which you are having. Perhaps nyingi ni wale watu mnapiga sherehe Kila siku. Mm -hmm. But there is a friend who tells you, if you people are looking forward to begin a family, mm -hmm. na hiku piga shere, mna piga shere. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> watoto watenda shule. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> yeah. So depending mm -hmm. on the value mm -hmm. that these friends are bringing into that relationship, mm -hmm. that is where you get to draw the boundary. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. And when you get, no, when you take note of any toxi toxicity mm -hmm. uh, towards the relationship, mm -hmm. and both of you can be able to judge and say, hey, according to the comments that this guy gives them, just keep such a person away because it yeah. will be toxic. Mm -hmm. When you realize you have friends who are not helping in any way in that particular relationship, mm -hmm. they are friends who are sadists. 
yeah. whatever you're going through, a circumstance, yeah, they, it becomes uh, it, it becomes humor to them. Mm. You need to, to, to take note of that. Oh. So uh, you draw the boundary depending on the value that you draw uh, from that from particular me. friendship. Yeah. Mm. Thank you. And I want us to dive into a bit of accountability. But before that, mm -hmm. let me get some of your comments. So if we can pull that up, Timo, let's sample some of the comments that you've shared with us about this conversation. Mm -hmm. This is from uh, uh, Facebook, I believe. We have Young Trapper who says, I used to show my friend who I am dating with, but then I realized that friends are the destiny killers. They can betray you. Mm -hmm. For me, I can't tell my friend about my relationship. Never. <laughs> Young Trapper, Nini Ilifanyika, you need to share some of this information. Mm -hmm. Waliba mschana ama what happened? <laughs> Do we have any more? Yeah. We have Young Savage who says, watching from Batosh, thank you so much for tuning in. Nobat Liwa says, some are enemies of progress, mm -hmm. but I can share with one or two. Mm -hmm. That's why, it's because you've, you've assessed. Mm -hmm. uh, Anto Netha Kimatare, <laughs> Thomas says, Wapen, that, oh, <laughs> that, <laughs> that, yeah, that went mm -hmm. too fast. Isaac Nalianya says, Butere equal locked in. I can never involve my friends in my marriage. Mm -hmm. That can never happen. Ne in, yo, in I, capital. with the cups. <laughs> 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 what happened? Mm -hmm. Pedi Wasadam Deka says, Thika 237, well represented. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for tuning in. Mm -hmm. Do we have any more comments? Uh, we have Ibrahim Haemba Wasike says, Vitu zingine zinahita jimbogi. Au hazita jimbogi. Eh, Uku kwani? I'm wondering, what the are the friends is, doing? The, yes. the level of Many friends poor, being uh, destiny killers. Mm -hmm. Many yeah. people have lost trust in, in friends. friends. Yeah. yeah. Many people, because of the occurrences, uh, what is the, many people have lost trust yeah. when it comes to friends. And is it because of the lack of boundaries? Yeah. Because some of them, as we talked about, the way... It, Beryl gave us a very clear example. Rafiki yako na zakuato na checklist na sebo wia minitafia buana na hajui. You know, even the guys can be like that because sometimes guys will see you dating someone and they are the friend, but they will still approach you. So is it because the lack of boundaries? Ama Beryl, what do you think can bring up these issues? I think we we do not understand what it means to be keeping it private and keeping it a secret. So um. On, uh, and be keeping it uh, and making it not a secret. We do not yeah. understand. I feel like if I don't uh, tell people about my man, I'm already my relationship is private. But in real sense, it's becoming a secret because people do not know who I am with. Now the other thing is how do you represent your partner out there? Because uh, let me say I'm in a relationship, and every time I go to Sheridan, ah, he gives me mood swings. He's, in fact, I don't even like him. I like the other one. So Sherry realizes there is a gap. You hear? Mm -hmm. So how do you represent your partner out there? If the guy is with his friends and he's told, hey, by the way, there's this time they like to call mama, mama na piga, and like, oh. We are Chanana, yeah, yeah. In fact, she's the one that is always in my DMs and all that. Ah, I'm not even interested. And his friend, so I am on his list. I am the right woman on his journal. Pasi, there's a presentation of a chance right there. Mm -hmm. It's how do you represent your partner? Mm -hmm. Make yeah. sure, let us make sure that we represent our partners in a way where someone knows, ah, ah, that is an area that I cannot go to. Mm -hmm. There yeah. are some boundaries that I can approach. Better. If my partner shows... When I call, he's like, let me talk to my woman. You see? Yeah. When he calls, I'm like, let me talk to my man first. I give him a certain respect and priority. My friends realize this, this thing is serious, and yeah. they know how to approach it. Mm -hmm. yeah. They cannot just find any chance, because I've not let any chance. There's mm -hmm. no space for you guys to mingle in. He is a priority. So I do not expect you to find you in this space. But if he calls, and I'm like, ah, I'll talk to him later. Yeah. In fact, ah, let I'm giving someone else around this table a chance to get into my space. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. And I, uh, that was very clear because, Pia, it's the, the representation, the way you speak about your partner, mm. the boundaries you've set. Sure. With your friends, friends even. Yeah. When, in case you're meeting your, your friends, Amas Junini and your girlfriend is coming in, you have to know, this is my woman. You do not talk to her a certain way. We do not have certain conversations around her. Yeah. So that respect will translate mm -hmm. to how they will 
uh, maybe they will accept your partner or treat your partner mm -hmm. and maybe even view them in future. Mm -hmm. But now, uh, before the show started, I was sharing about the, the situation where I think there was a viral video going around of a lady who was being beaten up. It's, it wasn't a fast occurrence because mm -hmm. based on the, the story, it happened before. Yes. And the guy was beating up the lady. The lady was there. Mm -hmm. The guy had a friend there. The friend wasn't bothered. The friend didn't say anything, didn't mention anything. So we talked about accountability. You mm -hmm. mentioned accountability. Mm -hmm. How do we hold our friends accountable in situations like that? If you feel like my friend is toxic in their relationship, mm -hmm. my friend is cheating, and I am aware that mm -hmm. they are cheating, how do you hold them accountable? Uh, it's important whenever you're having friends, have friends who have virtues and qualities that you would want to relate with. Mm -hmm. And that is why someone ever said somewhere, uh, do not, uh, let, do not uh, let your friends choose you. <laughs> yeah? Mm -hmm. Choose them. They say, I don't, choose my, I don't allow friends to choose me. I choose my friends. Yeah. Depending on what? On the values mm. and the virtues that I would want. You understand? Yeah. So once you do that, then correcting a friend whenever they go wrong becomes something which is very, very easy. Because if at all I call you my friend mm. and I cannot correct you whenever there is something which is wrong, then it means that friendship is misplaced, it, yeah. is, misinterpreted, is, it, it is misinterpreted, it means that is not a friendship. So, and friendship is not psychophancy. Mm. It is not a matter of me showering praises unto you, mm. even when you are in the wrong. Yeah. No, I will only be a friend if at all there is a time when you're doing something which is not right. Mm -hmm. I'm there to tell you, no, Sherry, this one is wrong and we cannot continue in that direction. Mm. And that is why we tell people, look at who is it that someone listens to. If at all I would want to pick on Beryl as a friend, I would want to know who does Beryl listen to. Yeah. Who is her speed governor? Who is that one person that when I can get to call, she will be able to cool down and would want to listen? Yeah. Be very, very careful about people who tell you they cannot listen to anybody, even a friend. Mm -hmm. That is somebody who cannot be accountable. Yeah. And it means that is somebody who cannot get to listen. Mm. You understand? Kuna wale mabeshi na kwanga na wana kwambia hii mimi hakuna mtu anaweza niambia kitu. Hai that one is danger. It's a red flag. You need to run away from such. Don't say red is your favorite color. All 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 levels of relationship. Yeah. Accountability is very very key. It's important yes. because that's what makes you a better person. Oh, it, yes. You know, sometimes people are not even aware mm. that maybe they get late every time. Mm -hmm. They don't know they have poor time management skills. Mm -hmm. So if you do not hold your friends accountable, then they can't get better. That is They'll it. stay the same. Mm -hmm. But now let's flip it. To the people who are just jealous, mm -hmm. they see that your relationship is thriving, you're happy, your partner treats you so right. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's even a marriage and they've been unable to get into a marriage or even a lasting relationship and they're jealous. So they give you information based on their jealousy. Beryl, how can you know? Uyu Rafiki, uyu Mbaya, uyu ako tu jealous, nana meddle to every situation. They just wanted to know what happened. W yesterday you went to the, your man. What happened? Were you fighting? What went on? How do you manage <laughs> things like that? Um, how well do you know your partner? Let's start there. How well do you know your partner? As, as for me, I know myself as an exploder. I react quickly to things. So if... If something is said to my partner mm -hmm. about uh, being related in a certain situation, how well does he know me? Or if I'm being told something about him, how well do I know him? Mm -hmm. That is where we start from. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because if, um, if he's told, I, if I do not drink, and he's told, by the way, Beryl went to the club, she was shouting and all that, mm -hmm. <laughs> how well does he know me mm -hmm. to that extent? Yeah. So... Before any info, when any information is presented unto you, ask yourself, mm -hmm. do I know my partner in this way? And if I do, 
to what extent do they react to this situation? Mm -hmm. yeah. Because we have that category of jealous, pure just jealousy. Because if I could not have it, then nobody else can have it. Mm -hmm. True. So yeah. before we react on any message, even if my partner's friends come and tell me, maybe you know you're a guy with other ladies and all that, how well do I know my man? Yeah. How well do I know how he relates with other? That other is why we have the trust in the... We have, we have different... I always tell myself we have different levels of trust. And in your relationship, you need to have a 100% trust. You need to have good, I will always repeat on communication, you need to have good communication always. Yeah. When something is, and do not just come bluffing around. Oh, Cheryl, I was told you are in the club uh, jumping on top of the table. You do not come like that. Yeah. Bring a situation, Cheryl. I saw a video on a lady in the club, and the, what is your opinion on that? Get to analyze what they'd say on the matter. And then present whatever you want mm -hmm. to say. Yeah. Create an environment. I, 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 I love uh, Obina's shows because I, I love the way he started because of the way he used to bring food. We say when food is there, people relax. So make sure before you speak something as sensitive as that, make sure your partner is comfortable. Yeah. And I like the aspect of trust. Yeah. It took me back to those, this popular song yeah. about a lady who left the relationship because of advice from the friends. And now it's years later and she was regretting the decision. She wanted to go back, but then it was too late. Mm -hmm. So it, it gets me to thinking, how should we make decisions based on the information that we get? Should we just take what our friends tell us or should we know how to pick and choose? You gave us a very clear example of someone who listened to different age groups, assessed and then made up his own mind. So how can you decide what information should I pick and what should I drop? Because mm -hmm. you can end up ruining a good relationship mm -hmm. without really fully making up a decision based on you. Mm -hmm. It's because of the information that your friends are giving you. So what decisions should you tie to the advice advice based on your friends? Mm -hmm. Ama, how, how should you pick and choose and know? I've listened to this. They've given me this information, but I will not run with it because I know my partner. Or I've listened to it, and maybe I was feeling like this person was a bit toxic. Mm -hmm. So now that someone else has affirmed it, then yes. we need to go. Mm -hmm. How should you pick and choose? One, we have said, how do you get to deal with um, jealous friends? Mm -hmm. I believe that is what is bringing us to the second question. One, anytime anyone is raising something up, Cheryl, if I told you as somebody who is wise, you will know whether they are raising it out of concern mm -hmm. or they are just passing information. Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. There is somebody who will tell you something and you know this one is telling me this because in one way or another, they are concerned. Yeah? But another way they will raise it, you know, this one is just trying to pass certain information. That is how you get to pick jealousy out of a statement. And anytime they speak, it is more of criticism than positivity. Even if there is something positive to talk about, mm -hmm. they will not talk about it. They will only criticize. And you will know here there is a problem. This is not just information that I should be able to pick on and react on. Uh, the other thing is that any moment you get information, mm -hmm. verify get to the root of that particular information. Is it a fact? Is it a suspicion? Mm -hmm. Or is it an allegation? Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. Because it may fall into those categories. It is either a fact, it is either a suspicion, or it is an allegation. You understand? What, is the, what, what will happen to your relationship if at all it was just an allegation? They are just a legend. They told you, oh, you're fine. Then you, you reacted over it. Mm -hmm. You see, you're the one who looked like a fool. Mm -hmm. yeah. But if it is a suspicion, it means there may be truth in it. And at the same time, it is information that you cannot trust as much. Yeah. But if it is a fact, then it is something which has been verified. Mm -hmm. And even maybe there is evidence mm -hmm. about it. Then you get to know, how do I get to work on that? So uh, acting on any given information should depend on how you know your partner. I will agree 
with Beryl. How much do you know the person with? Mm -hmm. Because there are things I can be told about Beryl and I can stand out in the open, refute and say that one, if you say it that, it's Beryl, no. I know yeah. that she cannot do that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. Which is important. Mm -hmm. It's really important to really know and verify. Because, you know, sometimes people jump on information. Oh, yes. mm -hmm. And they don't know. And as we've talked about trust, mm -hmm. you may know your partner. Mm -hmm. You may know your partner does not like going out, drinking, doing all these things. Mm -hmm. But because you want to believe your friends, or mm -hmm. you want to believe, maybe you even have some insecurities within yourself that are brought out by situations mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. So you will be quick to buy into mm -hmm. what your partner is saying. Mm -hmm. So uh, I want us to get into a few more topics, but briefly, because time is running out, okay. I want to talk about friends who will not be there to celebrate your milestones. Mm -hmm. You just got married. It's your first anniversary. You may invite him to, I'm busy. Baby shower, I'm busy. First birthday, I'm busy. So how do you know... How, how can you, Beryl, because mm -hmm. the, the last time we were having the conversation, you, you're very sentimental about friendship. Uh -huh. You like to hold on to your friends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How can you tell, this one is genuinely busy. Na huyu hanipendi tu, huni heta na jifanya. Because saying, yeah, maybe you're going to, uh, we're going out, you're going for lunch, all that, they're available. But when it comes to celebrating your personal milestones within your relationship, perhaps it's because of their experiences, they're not there to celebrate with you. Mm -hmm. How do you take that? Um, as for me, I, I would like to, we need to learn about acceptance. And uh, at times things happen in our life and some of our friends are not able to relate with them. We need to accept that I moved to a certain milestone and they are not able to be there for me. It is time to let go. Because we cannot continue hanging around. Just because I love this tree and it's not producing apples, uh, should I continue to keep the tree there? Mm -hmm. It's not even providing shade. You need to learn. And as much as you love this tree, you planted it, you have, you've mm -hmm. gone, it has been there to keep the rain, the sun from, uh, from you and all that, you need to learn to let go. Mm -hmm. When you see someone is not there celebrating your milestones, your achievements, then you know it is time. That is when you said that times you know it's just time to let go. Those, yeah. are, those are some of the characteristics to know how to and when to let when go. To let mm -hmm. go. Yeah. Because there are people who are genuinely preoccupied. Sure. And the people who just don't want to be there because what Mbona ni celebrate mm -hmm. and Mimi sina buwana, mm -hmm. but I sina boyfriend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, bringing me to we have some friendships who they might get into a new relationship mm -hmm. and you know the partner is toxic mm -hmm. and you try to bring up that aspect but your friends are not receptive they even think you're a hater so you know umpendi kwa sabu sijua nafanya nini 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 but you can see the toxicity you can see the manipulation mm -hmm. pastor how can you approach something like that if you tell your friend once twice thrice and they're not receptive do you let go at a wewe ama we are only responsible of giving people advice Mm. but we can never make a decision for them. Yeah. So your part as a friend is just to advise, uh, tell them, because if anything happens in any case and you did not point it out, and then later on you come and say, <laughs> no, they will blame you. Yeah. But the moment you point it out and then later on they come to see it, you raise it as a concern then definitely next time you tell them something, yeah. they're going to listen to you. Mm. You understand? It begins True. with the small, small things. So first of all, ensure that you're giving a judgment that can be trusted. And just know that you can get to the place of advising somebody, but you cannot make a decision for, for them, them entirely. The decision yeah. remains to be their responsibility. Yeah. Yes. And I like what you've said. Sometimes it's your responsibility to mention it mm -hmm. because you will be held accountable in case something happens yes. and you were there all along and you never said something. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's take it back to conflict because, as we said, there are situations where your partner and your friends cannot get along mm -hmm. or they may have some uh, difference in opinion mm -hmm. about something. Maybe it's even, let's talk about career-wise. Mm -hmm. You've gotten into a marriage, mm -hmm. you want to start a family, <coughs> you want to start having kids, but you also want to grow your career. Mm 
So your partner may not agree with you about that. But then your friend is supportive because your friend knows what you've been through and they know that you can probably handle and balance the two. So the two of them can clash because mbono uya ku support. Na mbono uya na ku advice if you need advice mbaya. So how can you come together and solve conflicts? Things like that that can come up between your partner and your friend, especially if it's long term and it's marriage. Uh, Beryl, I don't know if you can uh, say something on that. I've been following uh, certain talks, and um, I don't know, they, they say the, the women activist, uh, women empowerment is too much, but I've been learning something. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's all, it talks about the woman uh, knowing how to prioritize themselves first. Before I make a decision, I love... I always love to speak to myself first. I, I have a certain part of my house where I love sitting. And I call it, uh, it's my room, it's my consultation room. By, for me, by me. It is somewhere where by, I sit alone. So before you look into what other people are advising, what do you advise yourself? We have the mirror, the mirror challenge. You can speak to yourself in the mirror. Mm -hmm. The other side responds to this other side. And you just imagine, yeah? It's, it's like an imitation of the other person, the other you. So before, if we have such a, such a situation, I think what you can do is, you as a person, you, without the influence of your partner or your friends, what do you stand for? Yeah. Yeah. So you have to start from yourself. It's not just the external factors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you can move forward. Now, uh, to tie that up, because time is really not on our side, let me ask the final, final question. Mm -hmm. Let's say you have a friend who one time betrayed you. Mm -hmm. Well, it could be a boyfriend who was high school. Ama, <laughs> 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 you know, they pitted with your girlfriend, yes. someone you were catering, and then they hit on them, wakanza could date. Yes. How can you move forward from that? Or even if maybe they created some conflict. Mm -hmm. You all went out, they said something to your partner, your partner got mad, you had some issue. Is it possible for you to take that as a friend? Or do you know that this person is really not a friend? Mm -hmm. How can you uh, approach a situation like that? Yeah, once uh, someone is a traitor, just know that in one way or another they did not have a good intentions for you. Yeah. And you say respect at times involves you walking away mm -hmm. and making decisions that will make you to move forward. Yeah. Yeah, as you have always said, it is a bad day. It is good to get to know people who are in your life. They are not bad people. Mm -hmm. It is only that they are not meant to be together with you. Yeah. You understand? Even those people who are not your friends, it's not that they are bad people, no. It is only that you're not compatible. Yeah. So they're not bad people. They're not enemies <laughs> either. Mm -hmm. But it just means they cannot be within your circle. They cannot. Mm -hmm. I like that. And that's the perfect way to end mm -hmm. the conversation. I think we've covered most ground on this conversation, although mm -hmm. it's a very, very wide conversation. Sure. And I'm sorry because based on the, the responses that we've gotten, so many people do not trust their friends oh, yes. with their relationships. Mm -hmm. So I hope we can all take some of the lessons. The one thing I've gotten is you have to really know yourself and you have to apply wisdom mm -hmm. with your friends and in your relationship. Sure. So that is the one thing I hope that you've taken away as well. Apply wisdom, be able to assess situations, assess your friends, assess your partners, and make wise decisions. So I think that is it. Mm -hmm. And I hope you've gotten something. A repeat for, of uh, this show will happen tomorrow between 1 and 2 p.m. And we will be back next week with yet another interesting conversation. So stick to Y254 and enjoy your evening.